Hey, I'm Jeff Giuliano, and today I'm gonna to show you some of the presets that I created for my Control Hub expansion pack and how I use them in a mix. Okay, so tonight we're gonna to be mixing Finmar. The song is called In Common, and these are two really talented guys I work with in Nashville. It's Alex Marshall and Thomas Fincham. They're both singers and it's a pop country duo. And uh, this is a more piano based song with some programming and guitars and uh, acoustics and a shit ton of vocals. And that's a lot of what I do these days. Everything has a ton of vocals. Um, so anyway, here we go. And uh, actually let's do this. Let's take a listen to like halfway through the second verse of the song into the second chorus, so we kind of get a vibe of where it's at. And this was the mix I previously did of this song, and we're gonna beat it tonight. You used to move just as fast as the city night. Mississippi slowing down with me. Come on, kiss me. Opposites of track, we're living proof of that. We won't agree on everything, even if we try. Okay, cool, it sounds good. They liked it, it's released, it's out there, it's everywhere you can get music. But now we're gonna go in and dissect it and redo it with Control Hub. Let's start with the piano. Let's bring it up, no Control Hub. And check this out, I'm gonna put on the, I already put the plugin on the channels I'm using it on, but I'm gonna go through and show you my preset. Um, this one's called Piano Starter, okay? So get the sound in your head, then I'll stop and I'll put it on with it. You can hear how it just, we'll hear it first and we'll explain it. Check it out, here's without. You got that in your head, now check this out. Piano Starter. Unbypassed. Now immediately I'm hearing a fuller, wider the imaging. I mean, the imaging is way better, but also the dynamics of it, the compression. I'm using on this um, a, a tube pre kind of thing with an 1176 into a Pro Q3 in a pool tech EQ and all these presets you'll find, well, you won't find it, I'll have to tell you about it, that I've, I've, I've put in in every preset, I'm a, I'm a high pass filter guy. I love high pass filters and get rid of the mud. So anything I did, like the piano, I went through this and got rid of everything probably 40 and below. Because you're never gonna need that, but all those little bits of 40 Hertz rumbling in the mix add up and create mud and it ends up making your mix really suck in the end. And so I've, I've gone through in all these presets and really dialed in like, the crap you don't need in vocals, you don't need in the snare drum, the stuff you don't need even in a bass, maybe 20 hertz, 25 hertz. If that, a bunch of those frequencies adding up and rumbling and mix mud everything up. But anyway, back to this piano, it immediately sounds better to me and, and I know it's gonna sound better in the mix. So let's move on to uh, other stuff. I should probably start by pulling a balance up of the song and then going through the parts. Let's do that. Let's start with the drums here. We'll start in the second verse because that seems to be where everything's more active. Here we go. Again, kick drum. Kick, try this first is the preset name. I mean, that's a no brainer. So here's without. Here's with. A little darker, a little fatter, a little fuller, but in the mix, I think that's gonna sit great. And this is one of the songs that has a regular drum kit, bass, a small drum kit, like a kick snare. I think it's even a mono overhead and two rack toms and the rest of it's all programming. So we'll layer it all in and, and get it all blending. And then this is the other part is So again, uh, Neve my snare twice and crush it is the name of that preset. Now with. 
sounds pretty ridiculous in solo, but no one has a solo when they buy a record. They don't have a solo option. So we're going to make that work in the mix. My preset's Overhead Basic, and it's uh, basically an SSL console, SSL compressor, 1176 Rev E, another Pro Q3, which is probably just being used for high, high pass SSL EQ, and uh, no effects. Here we go. And on this stuff like this, on overheads, like if it's, an, if it's a mono overhead, sometimes I'll take like the effects on here that are built into control hub are awesome because I'll take a short room and just add a little bit of it in to give it some imaging and depth. And that totally works on this here with, with and without the room on it. Here's without. Now with. Just gives a little depth and it's a little cooler and a little more sitting in, and it will sit in threat. Programming kick. Let's see what this is. I'm going to go, I'm going to show before and after of all the tracks I have Control Hub on. Um, let me see. Programming kick weight gain. That's a good one. Here's without. Now here's with weight gain. It's kind of similar, but I'm hearing a little thing difference in the top end. I'm using um, tape on this one, uh, a Fatso, which I love that for drums on all drums. Uh, the master EQ is a Pro Q3 and a Pultec. So I'm, I'm doing a high pass filter probably in the mud on the bottom and a Pultec for that Pultec kick drum thing. But let's hear it in the track. Well, so I'm gonna start building the song up and I'll go through these as we go. That's a cool one. Check this out. It's drum loop. Okay, so um, drum bus super limit. Check this out without it. And I can hear Alex did some filtering, like as he as the song was moving, he was doing some BPM kind of tempo based filtering as the song moves, and that's kick ass. I love when producers do that and commit their ideas to the track and it just it makes it fun. Anyway, so here is the, with the plugin on. And it just gives it more depth, again, more punch. Um, I got a little bit of a short, or actually medium room on that to give it some more sitting inside the track kind of thing. Let's hear it with the track. Okay, cool. I should add though that I'm a big top-down mixer in terms of I I like mixing through my stereo bus from the start. I like mixing through my drum buses from the start and I mix into them. So I know how that stuff sounds and I know how I created it. So on the drum bus and the programming bus, I also have control hub on here. And uh, I should have mentioned that earlier, but it's okay. You get it. Um, so on the drum bus, I've got the setting drum bus mellow, and it's a Neve 1081, again, a Fatso, I love Fatso on drums, an API 550B, and, uh, and a little bit of a limiter. So let's hear the drum bus, just the acoustic drums, not the programming, without that processing. Check this out. Okay, you're probably gonna hear a substantial volume jump, but it's part of the thing. Check it out. Here's with.
as you can see, the compression is pretty crazy on it. And what's great about Control Hub, on, on, they have a, a mix wet dry on the compressor side and on the whole plugin, which is fantastic. So you can just blend in a little bit of all the sauce or everything. So check this out. Now let's hear the uh, programming with and without the, the bus compressor, the bus processing on the programming bus. Here's without. Okay, now let's hear it less pre roll this time with the my uh, control hub drum bus setting on the programming. That's a good way to end on a splash symbol. Anyway, okay, you get the point. Now, Let's now that we have the drums and the programming kind of hanging out together and being cool. Let's do that real quick. All right, so next up is the bass. Now, normally this is one of my pet peeves is when someone gives you just a sub bass for the bass guitar of a song and not a bass guitar, it's just sub. So you don't have anything from 100 cycles and up, it's all it's all low end, it's awesome, um, but you don't get any grind, you don't get any clack in this and that. So on that, uh, in this song though, it really does work, but on my preset I made for it, let's check out the bass first and hear what they sent me. If you're listening on an iPhone, I know you didn't hear that, uh, and I'm sorry. But here, check this preset out. This is going to add more grind to it. The one I'm using that I made is called, it's funny, it's called Jamaican Parasail Boat. And there's a story behind this. My wife and I got married in the Bahamas, and uh, every time we would go lay on the beach every day, it was an amazing place, you would hear this boat coming from around the corner. Before you could see the boat, uh, it was a parasail boat. Before he came around the corner, you could hear him, and he was always playing Shaggy, and he always had the best, the, he had so many subwoofers in his boat, the low end was incredible. And his boat was named Jamaican Parasail Boat. So I had to make a preset that reminded me of that low end coming out of that boat that week, or two weeks, or however long we were there. But here we go, check it out with the preset. Okay, so immediately I'm hearing upper harmonic, like distortion, good distortion, stuff you want to hear. And the way I'm getting that is they're a Theramonic Culture Vulture um, plugin. And I, I hate the hardware of that unit, but I love the plugin for some reason. But I love it for exactly this, to add upper harmonics, to add grit, to add grind, to add frequencies that when, you, when it's put in the mix, actually, you, it cuts through. But in solo, it doesn't necessarily always sound great, but when you put it in the mix and not have it in solo, it's, it's awesome. And that's going into a FabFilter Pro MB, probably controlling some of the low end, I'm thinking. And then a Waves MV2, which I love on bass for when notes disappear, it actually brings them up, and then a Pro Q2. And uh, yeah, let's check that out in the song with the drums. Okay, let's check this out. It's called Piano Swells, but it's like a droning piano. And let's hear without control hook. Okay, so in this setting, I'm using my basic B3 setting. In basic B3, um, I'm just adding upper harmonics again because B3 sound great when they distort a little bit. Um, and then give it a grind, I'm using tube tube something tube tape for that i'm guessing the combo of, the, of both and then 1176 rev e pro q3 and a pool tech eq and i'm guessing that again you're going to find a common theme here pro q3 on everything and a lot of it's just controlling the uh real sub harmonic frequency unneeded stuff in any track up <laughs> 
made a preset for. Let's check it out with. Yeah, that's cool because it actually adds grit and grind to that real buttery fat piano. So let's check out in the track. Okay, cool. That's like a riff that plays, it's like a counter melody within the piano um, on its own track. Thank you, Alex. Um, let me check out what I'm doing here. I'm using Piano Starter again on this. Again, it's 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 uh, 1176 Pooltech Pro Q3 and uh, the color is Tube. I gotta remember, I forgot what I did on that, but it's it's a fatter, warmer thing. Check this out. Song's not a pop song without reverse piano. And here's one right here, check it out. And I'm probably using piano starter on it, don't hate me for it, but that's a really good one. Let's check it out. No, it's called Crush My Piano. Let's hear without it. Okay, we've all heard that a hundred times and I don't get sick of it. But here's with Crush My Piano. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, SSL compressor a TG limiter, Chandler TG limiter, Pro Q3, and another TG limiter. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's, let's mix that up a little bit. Let's, let's turn some more color in this one. Oh yeah, there you go. We want that to be dramatic. Check it out. Again, with a little more runway. That's cool. Okay, wait, now I got piano riff. Uh, what's this doing? Let me kill the plugin so we can be fair. Okay, cool. It's a little another little riff. That's just the hook of the song. But let's hear what we're doing on it. Um, I'm using Lo-Fi My Synth. That's that's a new one. I mean, I made it, but now I got to remember what I did. I got to hear it. So let's check it out without. Almost sounds like a felt tip toy piano or something. But here's what I'm doing. That's bitching. Okay, cool. Um, BPM synth. Let's hear what this thing's doing. That's cool. Alex is really great at this stuff. If Thomas, if you did it, dude, I'm sorry. It's, it's just really great stuff. Okay, so now let's hear it with, um, a preset I made called Synth Glue, which is Decapitator, Shocker, 1176, uh, a pool tech and more Pro Q3. Check this out, without. With. Yeah, that's cool. And that's gonna give it that push and that cut and get it through all the other thick stuff that we're gonna start building on and building on and building on. Check it out. More keys. Oh, these are strings. Check this out.
There's some old grainy vintage sounding strings. Let's see what I'm doing to them. Um, oh, Catlin guitar solo. Catlin Owen is he's, he's a, an amazing session player. He plays a guitar and a bunch of stuff I do from Nashville. And um, I made some presets after his guitar playing and guitar tones that he puts on records and he's, he's awesome. So here's with Catlin's guitar solo. So Catlin guitar solo tone on a string track. Why not? Let's hear it. And without. Yeah, it just gives it more edge and more depth. Check it out in the track. Let's get to guitars. That's coming together. I'm happy with how this is sounding, so we're, we're moving on through. Okay, here's the acoustics, the way they sent them to me. And I gotta say that all the processing I'm doing in terms of reverbs, delays, and all the ambience kind of stuff I'm doing this on are all STL uh, control hubs that I went through and I found their models of, you know, chambers and plates and halls and all the stuff that I, I normally use with other gear. I found everything I needed within their presets, their core presets, it was great. It wasn't hard to edit them either. Check this out, here's what they sent me with acoustics. Okay, it's great, guitar sound, very cool, like just fat, basic, not hyped, not over pick sounding, which is really, I'd love when I hear that when I, when I don't have to take high end away from a guitar. I'm stoked. Okay, so I made a preset here called Brighter Acoustic Guitar. And it's a transformer color, which I know I, I put it through a, it's a Kush Audio Transformer plugin. It's amazing. LA3, love LA3s on guitars. Uh, Renaissance Axe, I love that on acoustics. Um, Pro Q3, shocker. And then an API 560. And here's the secret on the, my 560. Anytime my 560s EQs show up in control hub, it's off a, basically I modeled every one of my favorite 560 EQ curves before I sold my gear. Like my 560s, I sold them after I figured out how to clone them so I didn't have to worry about recalling every little slider. So here's the guitar without. And here's it with. That's great. I can't believe that happens with one plugin. I would have killed for this like five years ago. All right, so we left off on acoustic guitar. That sounded great to me. Let's go to the electrics. The electrics in his song though are kind of more ethereal pad type things. Let's check them out. Sounds like a rock man from like the 80s. Um, but anyway, it's it's gonna work in the song because that's not the focus. That's just a, almost like just a frequency chilling out and, and keeping a constant in the chorus. Okay, so on the first one, Catlin guitar, shocker. Yeah, just more bite. And on the second one, Sausage Fingers. I gotta hear why I call, I'm, I'm guessing why I called it that, but I gotta hear it in, in real time here. So here's without. And with. I know it's an unventable guitar part, but it's, it's gonna add to the song, trust me. I'm not doing much. Let's put more color on it. Okay, not a big part of the song, but it's fine. These we're gonna approach the only country part of the song. 
<laughs> and that is the steel guitar. Uh, here's without. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna, I bet you we're gonna go with Catlin guitar solo again. And this will probably make it thicker and bigger and more badass sounding. Check it out. Yeah, instantly cooler. And that plate you're hearing, their chamber actually is a STL chamber. It's awesome. Okay, so let's hear that in the song. And by the way, I work like this a lot. I spend so much time in the instrumental of a song before I even bring vocals into it because it helps me learn all the parts where all the hooks are hidden and all that. So working like this is common for me. So the last guitar in the song, I'm guessing there's some fills in the end of the song. And yeah, again, Catlin guitar solo is probably a guitar, but I have a bunch of guitar presets, but that's just the ones I use in the song. Here we go. Now with the plug-in, yeah, so much cooler. That's sounding good. All right, let's get some vocals going. And this is one of the situations where I'm gonna take the pre-EQ. First of all, I'm using um, my preset called DC Vocal Smooth. DC is my, uh, one of my greatest friends on earth and my mix prep guy, um, Dave Cook. And I, he's an amazing singer, songwriter, producer, mixer. He does everything. Um, and uh, he's jack of all trades. But I said, give me some vocals, man. I want to make a preset after you because I love your voice. So he did. And I made this preset after him. And it works on these guys. So check it out. I used to see the world in black and white Till I took a look through your technicolor eyes You used to move just as fast as the city night Mississippi slowing down It's a track, we're living proof of that. We won't agree on everything, even if we try. Cause we rebel as different as the days from the night. We're fighting rain, we're whiskey and we're wine. But if all we have in common is loving each other. I want to do something here. I want to check where this mix was with my last version, the version I mixed before this plugin existed. With just a handful of plugins, including aux returns that were part of the library that came with the plugin for free. And I'm going to make my own, by the way, but just with a handful of plugins on my buses and on the main vitals of the track, here's the original. Here's the new. We won't agree on everything, even if we try. Cause we rebel as different as the days from the night. I like this one better. <laughs>
You guys are from space. That's nuts. That's it. I mean, in that short time, I was able to recreate a mix and actually beat it with, you can see my screen. This is it. That's it. It's too good. That's it, I'm out. <laughs>